When you walk around Yale's campus, you can see the evidence of historic investment in engineering. I granted the first engineering PhD. I'm in the incredibly fortunate position of being asked to lead a school of engineering at a moment of transition. What we've seen across the university landscape is increasing investment just in basic student facilities. What I think has been lagging a little bit behind is the investment in infrastructure, spaces for academic collaboration, for creative technology work, maker spaces, computing facilities where students can get together and work on coding projects. We recognized that to build an engineering school of the prominence Yale needs, we needed to grow. 30 new faculty slots were allocated to engineering. This will be a growth of 50% of the size of the engineering faculty. We are building new spaces to support their activity. We're building in a way that engages our excellence in medicine, our excellence in biology, our excellence in economics and political science. But engineering will be the center of it. And it has to be. The challenges in the world that we face are engineering challenges. As we think about the new spaces we'll be creating in Lower Hill House, we want to have first-rate, top-tier laboratory infrastructure that will surround and be engaged with the undergraduate life. We imagine spaces that will serve as innovation spaces for commercialization opportunities, for new startups, spaces that will welcome industry partners to come interact with faculty and students. Something is changing here, and Yale is in a position to make good on its promise to improve the world for today and for future generations.